All right, I've got my uh, tracking arm on my grinder in the box set so that it's parallel to the to the surface to the ground and I've taped a board to the side of the tracking wheel so that you can see what happens when I change the uh, the tracking. The board stays pretty much in the same plane as the belt as I rotate it because that wheel is just going in and out and it gives you good tracking. But as the grinder in the box has the kick comes the uh, the spring keeps it, the tracking arm from being able to get parallel to the ground to be able to get down that low so what you have is a setup like this alright we still got our board on the side of the tracking wheel make sure you got it in the frame okay now watch what happens now as I change that tracking see how the plane changes and really throws your tracking off that way so I find this to be a design flaw with the version 2 of the grinder in the box and uh, I'll show you how we can fix that alright here's my grinder in the box and as you can see I've got my tracking arm parallel to the ground parallel to the uh, the arm the, the tool arm and the way I did that is extended I made a new piece here extended this up here's the the piece that comes with the kit you see how much lower it is. I had to make a new, fabricate a new piece to raise this uh, upright support so that I could get my arm parallel using the new spring uh, or using the spring option that the, the version 2 has. Now you could possibly find a shorter spring uh, that had a shorter throw so that you could use the stock upright arm but I just found the easiest solution was to take a piece of half inch plate and extend that arm up. And by the way, with it set up like this, with that arm, that tracking arm horizontal, it tracks fantastic. Where before, when the tracking arm was cocked slightly up, it was a bear. You never knew where it was going to fall. It would track all over the place.